atomic absorption spectrophotometry okay atomic absorption spectro uh, photometry or it is called it as a spectroscopy okay atomic absorption spectroscopy and even it is also called as a photometry or in simple way this is called as a abs instrument abs atomic sorry 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 a a atomic absorption spectroscopy it is an absorption spectroscopic method whereas in the case of previous it is a emission spectroscopy emission method so emission intensity is detected in this case emission intensity is detected in the flame flame photometry but in the case of atomic absorption spectroscopy we are detecting absorption intensity not emission intensity where light radiation from a source is absorbed by non excited atoms in the vapor state here we consider the non excited atoms in the vapor state not excited atoms okay see here an electronically heated surface is used to vaporize through the aspiration of the solution of the analyte sample again we'll say observe the same uh, procedure we'll fed a solution uh, we'll introduce a, here we'll uh, fed a solution uh, which contains a metal ion m plus x x minus okay solution so here an electro electronically heated surface is used to vaporize the through the aspiration of the solution whereas in the previous case we will use a fuel but here electronically heated surface on that surface will impart a uh, solution so it get vaporizes through the aspiration of that solution of the analyte sample into free atoms of a particular elements in an abs okay so absorption spectrophoto or spectroscopy here the first thing is the metallic compounds are decomposed in the flame to an elemental state forming a clouds of atom again the same thing when you aspirate the components over a surface of electronically heated surface it changes to m plus x minus mist okay then further it evaporation takes place okay evaporation of this component take place or uh, resulting in the formation of a solid component okay this solid component get vaporized to form a gaseous component the series of change the same what we observed in the case of flame photometry here we are not using a flame decomposed in the heated surface is actually decomposed in the heated surface into an elemental form forming a clouds of atoms okay gaseous atom if the light radiation of suitable energy is passed through this flame then the part of light will be absorbed by the uh, non excited electron of the ground level atoms here again i mentioned here flame it is not a flame it is a heated surface on the heated surface this m is converted m gas is dissociated to forming m gaseous component plus x gaseous component and this gaseous component the metal can able to absorb light radiation so if it is a non excited so then when it absorbs the light radiation it get excited and this excited component if they absorb a light and we are not considered the instrument will not absorbs the or shows the uh, reading okay so absorption radiation is observed that's why if the light radiation of suitable energy is passed through the a heated gaseous component a portion of this light energy here light energy is fed so a portion of light energy will be absorbed by the non excited electrons of the ground levels of the atom and the extent of light energy
energy absorption of radiation by these atoms is directly proportional to the concentration of this element or a metal in the sample and in accordance with the Lambert's law. Okay, X amount of metal if it is present the same quantity of light is absorbed by this and they get excited to higher energy level and by detecting the absorption of this light energy we can able to find the the quantity of metal atoms present in the sample so that is according to Lambert's base law a is equal to KLC where a is the absorption k is the absorption coefficient l is the thickness thickness we kept constant only we vary the concentrations we can able to get a calibration curve a straight line passing through the origin and it is prepared by using a standard solution by the help of this calibration curve the unknown solution absorption is measured thereby we can able to get this here we can detect the absorption intensity not emission here the volume we can able to get the volume of the sample present in the solution okay what is the instrument used here we are not using any flame so we use a radiation source we fed the sample uh, uh, atomic absorption spectroscopy here by using a nebulizer the fa uh, uh, sample is fed into an atomizer to make it to a gaseous component or in other words it change into a vapor state and that vapor state is uh, introduced to a suitable uh, radiation suitable radiation with an appropriate energy is produced by a polo cathode lamp which is focused uh, on the vaporized sample this radiation source is nothing but a lamp which produces a very high light energy is introduced over the surface of on the uh, vaporized sample through the lens and the part of that light will be absorbed by this gaseous atom and then it is transmitted radiation is uh, focused by another lens uh, to the optical filter only the absorbed uh, metal ion scan is passed through the optical filter and the output of from the photo cell is proportional to the intensity of the radiation falling on the photo cell and thereby we can able to detect the the quantity or the metal ions which present in the sample the main application of atomic absorption spectroscopy is to analyze water uh, of uh, for its uh, metal quantity if present in the water if a metal ion or so a metal component present it can be measured using atomic absorption spectro so we can able to the atom can able to absorb light energy we can detect only the total quantity of metal not the individual metal and it is used to determine the vanadium uh, in a lubricating oil so what is the quantity of vanadium present in the lubricating oil and even to determine the catalyst that may remain in the final product in some reactions uh, even in the exhaust some catalyst or uh, to minimize the uh, oxides of gases so we use a catalyst and finally the catalyst uh, some catalysts are unreacted to detect the quantity of unreacted catalyst we can use this method and the metals which present in the biological tissues can be detected by atomic absorption spectroscopy so these are the main applications of atomic absorption spectroscopy and the advantage it, it is specific to one chemical species micro scale quantity can be determined limitation cost is high calibration is needed so